Hey guys, in this video we are going to look at how to repair cracks and scratches on your carbon fiber parts. We will be working with this rear diffuser. As you can see, there are some scratches near the edge of the diffuser. First we will need to sand down the area where the scratches or cracks are located to smooth out the surface. We use 36 grit sandpaper to quickly remove the old resin. Also sand down the surrounding area approximately 1 to 2 inches from the target area. This will help the resin properly attach. Make sure not to over sand or you could damage the carbon fiber cloth and if the fiber is exposed you want to avoid sanding the fiber itself. Once you have finished sanding down the area, you will need to thoroughly clean the part. Use some rubbing alcohol or acetone. Next we are going to tape the area with painter's tape so the resin doesn't spill onto the parts of the diffuser. Now we are going to mix the resin with the hardener. The resin we used has a 100% resin to 29% hardener ratio. The mix ratios may vary from different brands. Follow the guidelines according to the product manufacturer. You also want to mix in smaller amounts. Epoxy resin can be purchased online or at your local hardware store. After the resin has been thoroughly mixed, apply a coat of the resin onto the area. Keep within the taped area. The resin will drip and you may want to place something underneath to catch the excess resin. Allow the coat of resin to slightly dry. Tack it to the touch but not completely dry before applying additional coats of resin. The number of coats will vary depending on how deep the crack or scratch is. The cracks on the part weren't very deep so we only needed one additional layer. Allow the resin to completely dry. The curing time for our resin was 24 hours. Now that the resin has completely dried, we are going to remove the tape and start sanding the area to smoothen out the surface. We will start with the 36 grit sandpaper. You are going to move from coarse sandpaper to finer 1500 grit wet sanding.
Now we moved on to the 150 grit sandpaper. Lastly, we will do the 1500 grit wet sanding to refine the surface before polishing. After all the sanding is completed, you want to thoroughly clean the area. You don't want to polish any dust or dirt. You can use any generic polish compound to restore the shiny gloss surface. After the polishing is completed, you should have a restored shiny smooth surface. I hope that this video is informative and helps you to restore your carbon fiber parts. Thank you for watching.